What's going on with y'all niggas, man? Hoodie get back robbed three times, bringing y'all another video. What the fuck y'all looking at? But anyways, man, got something interesting to tell. Got something interesting to tell. I thought about doing this video over gameplay, but I was like, fuck it. I'm going to make this shit raw and uncut. Me talking to you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can catch the facial expressions, all that shit. But anyways, man, I wanted to talk about this GTA Online PS3 server shit shutting down. Look, first of all, I know this is old. Well, not old, but, like, there's probably been a hundred videos on this topic already and things like that. I don't know if people said exactly what I'm about to say about this, concerning this. I just wanted to share my thoughts and feelings on this and why I think this is really a dumb, a dumb, a really dumb and pointless thing to do. You know, so check this out, right? <clears throat> I understand... Rockstar wanting to move forward and forget about last gen consoles or whatever, you know, because usually how when a game is 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 popular on a console or whatever, because let's just be honest, GTA 5 is still popular, you know what I'm saying? You still got kitties buying the shit. So usually when a game is popular and it crosses over to another console, that console is going to be part of a larger demographic because people are always buying newer consoles, right? You may have people who still, you know, play on the older consoles or whatever but when it comes to online especially which is a big part of gaming today multiplayer people is the, the vast majority of it is in the newer consoles things like the the new gens and all that you know what i'm saying hell people already got ps5s and shit you know we thinking the xbox and the xbox one and the ps4 is all new that shit was 2013 you know what i'm saying it's been a while but new consoles is already coming out and shit you know, it's going to be like, it's just always some new things. Xbox Series X, S, you know. So, they're always moving forward. And my point to say all that is, Rockstar being the game that they they have and having the pressure put on them of, uh, you know, having to switch over to new gen or the next gen, even though they've already been switched over. You know, we had GTA 5 on like three consoles now. I mean, three generations of consoles now. So, you know, with no service such as that. Now, this is really my issue. I don't think that's the issue because Rockstar, they, they full of shit. They already know these people, I mean, this company's bullshitting because they have the money to keep the servers up. You know, they definitely have the money. You can't tell me that Rockstar Games doesn't have the money to have kept them servers up. They knew what they were doing. They don't want you playing playing their games on older systems where they're not going to be updating every, you know what I'm saying, with the newest DLC or whatever. They don't care, you know, because if they really cared, they still would have been updating. They would have been updating when the, the PlayStation 4 came out, but it's not profitable. You know what I'm saying? Rockstar is always looking for the way to, you know what I'm saying, get that check, you know, and you got to hand it to them. These niggas is hustlers. I ain't going to even lie. Like, as far as like, because they, because they know. The adults, like with wise minds and shit, they're not gonna fall for the bait. So they talk, they target, they target, they are targeting. Fuck, I can't speak right now. They're targeting the little kitties and you know what I'm saying the the tykes and shit like that. That's gonna spin out the uh their mommy's pockets. You know what I'm saying? The debit cards, the debit card stealers. You know, the wallet swipers. They go, they targeting them niggas, and they know that they're gonna buy the shark cards, or whatever else that might got like. Shark card, the, the the highest number of shark card, I mean the the, the most expensive shark card is a hundred dollars. Like a hundred that shit equals up to like eight million dollars in GTA Online. Eight million dollars in GTA Online, last time I played, ain't shit. Like you spend maybe like what that you spend that like on maybe like a uh maybe the new the newest DLC, you get like one of the new, you know, whatever that came out. I haven't played the, the contract, so I don't know. But you, you spend that on your, maybe your business, and then you spend it, you drop the, the rest on like two cars, two expensive supercars, and that's it. You gone, my nigga. You have to spend another hundred. So what the so what these niggas do? Like, I really don't understand. Like, what do y'all niggas buy just like multiple $100 shark cars at once with your parents' money? Are y'all niggas that spoiled? I don't understand how y'all niggas is still buying this shit. Like, it ain't even... It ain't even like... If you don't have a billion... If you don't have a billion dollars in GTA Online, you piss broke. Like, like let's just be honest. If you don't have like... like High hundred million to like to a billion at least. You piss broke, my nigga, cause your shit is your shit going in the snap, my nigga. Like you need that uh 
you need that stock GTA 5 offline money to, to, to be profitable when GTA online. Else you're not having fun with the game. So I don't even understand how these niggas are still playing this shit. Honestly, unless y'all niggas playing on PC or role playing or, or y'all got a modded account, I don't get it. I really don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I guess you could still have fr fun with friends and shit, whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it ain't fun playing this game by yourself. It's just not. You got to have at least one, two people playing with you. If you, you don't have that, it's not fun. But let me get back on the topic of the service. Like, so, I, play, I mean, I was playing this shit. I first got on GTA Online. I, heard, I first hopped on GTA Online back in middle school on the PS3. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was good for me because it was free. I had to download... I had it downloaded on the console, you know what I'm saying? I ain't had a disc. And my nigga, I just remember I I I, I to level up, I just kept on robbing stores and uh I kept on robbing stores in in Blaine County and and I didn't even have I didn't even have an apartment. I didn't even have uh like I didn't have an apartment in the city or a garage. I didn't even have I didn't have shit. Like I, I was literally struck. Like well, I was hustling, my nigga, just to get a hundred thousand dollars in the level up. Like I thought a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand dollars, you was rich when I finally got that shit. You know, cause all I was doing was just petty licks, Seven Eleven shit. And even though that was shit was tedious back then, that shit was fun, nigga. The memories, and then when I finally got enough rank to hop in the city, I was getting chased by tanks and shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas getting a gunfight in the middle of the streets and shit. Simple shit with just adders, just normal guns. You know what I'm saying? Back then it was it was down to who had the best, you know what I'm saying, material that, that came with offline. Because, you know, offline wasn't getting updated like that. So, so offline came to online and you had just the regular weapons or whatever the mods have you. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that give the mod upgrades on the weapons and shit like that. If you had a tank, you was that nigga. If you had a jet, you was that nigga. That's about it. There was no... You know what I'm saying? Doom rays or no orbital lasers and cannons and shit like that. And fucking oppressors and shit. Just the name oppressor. What does that say? Come on, my nigga. You being oppressed. You can't even work. That's really what they was going for. I see you. I see through you, Rockstar. Stop trying to oppress us, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Giving these niggas these cheap cheap uh Batmobile rides and shit. Come on, man. Y'all man, y'all niggas ain't man. I, I see it. I see it, my nigga. I, etymology. I study this shit. I see it. I see your hidden messages y'all putting in, you evil ass company, you. I get this shit, man. Y'all niggas ain't slick. You know what I'm saying? You might have fooled them, you know what I'm saying? But I've been in this shit too long. I see through all that shit, my nigga. Like it's encrypted messages. You know what I'm saying? Like on some Matrix shit. The, the letters is backwards and moving. Yeah, I see what y'all niggas doing. Y'all pressing these niggas. That's why I had to hop off this evil ass game. But, anyways, man, look. <laughs> Let me hop back on the topic. Yeah, so they, 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 first of all, when we were playing on PS3, we were still, some niggas were still spending money. Let's be honest, like, shark cars and shit. So, you basically spilled, you, you basically spent real life money. You know what I'm saying? Now, you may have switched over, right, when, it, when the game came out on New Gen and all that shit. But you still spent the money. You know what I'm saying? You still spent the money on, on last gen. So, you spent that money just for the server, the servers to shut down. You know what I'm saying? You grinded. You did all that shit in 2013 to 2014. You wasted all them hours of your life as a man. You could have been doing anything else. You know what I'm saying? Just think back to all the time you put in on GTA Online. You know what I'm saying? You came home from work. Or you came home from school. You know, <clears throat> whatever you you may have been doing. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 some of you niggas is having the opportunities to talk to bitches, but nah, you want to get on this game or whatever, this shit's like the new 2 KDO. you get on this shit back in 2013, 2014, you know what I'm saying, getting all the adders and shit, you know what I'm saying, grinding for one million dollars, you know, uh, doing, what was that mission, Corvette, what was the other mission, uh, Rooftop Rumble, you know what I'm saying, you know, just steady grinding and shit, you know what I'm saying, like, man, I'm, 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 been, I'm finna cop a, 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 a a fucking cheater, you know what I'm saying? I'm having this shit. I'm having this shit. In my ten car garage. Yeah, I'm lit. Yeah, that's this how me. I'm doing this. Woo woo woo. You know what I'm saying? Fast four or five years. <clears throat> All that time of your life gone, nigga. Just gone. And I'll be really thinking back, like, wow, that's really sad. If you really put it into that perspective, like, <clears throat> this is basically like niggas is just shitting on our childhoods or our teen years or whatever the fuck we, however old we was, like. You just shitting on that, basically. Like, you don't just shut something down like that, my nigga. 
you don't, you don't just shut that down. Now, I can understand if you wasn't making the money or if, if it wasn't profitable. But niggas, is still, niggas will still play old Gen GT online. It ain't like we got anything else. Honestly, it ain't like we got anything else. We don't have a GTA 6. We don't have a Bully 2. We don't have, a, we don't have none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all saw what happened to Red Dead 2. You know, GTA Online, niggas breathe, niggas live that shit because that's all we have, my nigga. That's like, that's like our nourishment. Rockstar Games, anyway. You know what I'm saying? Not me. Personally, not me. I, don't, I, ain't, I ain't falling for the bait. You know what I'm saying? I'm not brainwashed. I go back and play old Rockstar titles. Go back and play Midnight Club. Go back and play the old GTs on the old consoles, not that definitive edition bullshit. I go back and play, you know what I'm saying, the fun shit, and I have a good time. But some of these niggas, they can't help themselves. So what you're doing is you basically took taking memories from them. You know what I'm saying? And what, because there's no telling when we're going to get the next rock star title. So what are, what are, what are niggas my age, you know what I'm saying, when we when we first played GTA 5? Because let's be honest, this is really like GTA 5, and then there's just like a GTA 5.1. And and it's like a GTA 5.2. So right now we on GTA 5.2. GTA 5.2 is like the uh, PS5 and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? GTA 5.1 was like the the Xbox One, PS4, and then the GTA 5 is like PS3, 360. So you know what I'm saying? We come from GTA 5. You know, and a little and, and, and maybe a couple of us crossed over to 5.1. You know what I'm saying? And then that's it. You know, I'm not playing this game on another console. I'm not. After after Xbox One, I, I'm not going up. I, I I'm already done. I'm I'm for sure not getting this on the next another console. So you know what I'm saying. The kids that's playing right now, cause they you know what I'm saying they the 12 year olds right whatever they experiencing GTA 5 right now on PS5. So what are we gonna be able to tell them? You know what I'm saying about our GTA 5? Cause this is the type of discussions we need to be having. You know what I'm saying? When I was playing GTA 5, we ain't have all this shit. You know you know what I'm saying. We ain't had the oppressors. We ain't had a you know what I'm saying the uh. Uh, what y'all niggas got ray gun, uh, um, ray guns and shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas is playing with Dr. Dre and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas is playing with Snoop Dogg and and, and, and doing all this extra and extra corny shit. You know what I'm saying? We ain't have all that shit. You know what I'm saying? All we had was story mode and we had a barely a GTA Online because when we first hopped on this shit, this shit wasn't even functional. We had so many niggas trying to hop on this shit, man. Let me tell you, it was it was October first. It, like, you know what I'm saying? We had conversations like that. We can't even tell them about that experience because y'all just they went ahead and swiped our shit away. Like, what the fuck, Rockstar? Come on, man. Y'all niggas ain't mad. Man, man, this nigga, this shit ain't beneficial for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's sort of like a generational thing. You know what I'm saying? GTA 5 been out so long. You know what I'm saying? We could, we could talk to the kids. You know what I'm saying? That, that, was, that was playing this game. You know what I'm saying? When we was in middle school, because when the game first came out, I know I was middle school. You know, I was seventh grade when the game first came out. You know, I'm I'm 20 now, so really, really like the 11 year olds now that I could talk to, they didn't play the same GTA Online that I played. You know, you know they don't they don't know about it how it first began. Now, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they do, but because they had an older brother or something, but mass majority hell nah. So I would say, like, you know, in order to keep that community, like, Rockstar don't even care about the community, first of all, because they splitting us, they splitting us up. It's it's about to become another volition, like, and I, I'm I'm honestly can say it's about to become another volition situation where they got like a the Saints Row one and two fans, and then the Saints Row three and four fans, and it's split right down the middle. Everything past that, y'all stay over there, we stay over here. Y'all cross that line, we we going at it, we rumbling. It's about to be like that with GTA 5 because right now you got people who's dropping the game or whatever. They waiting on the next title. And then you got people who's so loyal to Rockstar that they, you know what I'm saying, cock all in their mouth. They're going to do whatever these niggas tell them. You know what I'm saying? These niggas say jump. they like, ha, ha, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's about to be them. And then we're going to have to start one with them niggas. You know, right now I'm not even in the, like, perfectly honest, I ain't even in y'all war, man. I'm just staying over here. I'm staying all the way back. You know what I'm saying? With the old titles, having fun, having, you know what I'm saying? Doing me. I haven't, t I haven't touched GTA 5, honestly. I shouldn't even install. There's really no reason for it to be, you know? For what? Honestly, for what? To keep getting griefed and to keep griefing people? That's how y'all have fun, man? Like, nah, to keep trying to find friends to play this, this sad sap of shit with? Fuck that, man. That ain't me, man. This game is like, <laughs> I, I, it's sort of turned into a rant, but like, bruh, 
the service is going to shut down eventually on Xbox One and PS4 too. So what's the what the fuck is the point? Honestly, what is the point to keep playing? Just to keep on getting the console to play this travesty? You know, like what like what we even what would even what, what, how is that beneficial to y'all company, Rockstar? Why don't y'all put something else out, first of all, before y'all worrying about canceling certain, cutting off servers and shit like that, dropping servers, which y'all could be doing. And, and I'm not talking about that definitive edition bullshit. My nigga, we are tired, tired of getting GTA 3D, all that shit put out. Come on, man. Give us something new. I'm tired of y'all niggas, man. Give us something new. I'm sick and tired of playing the same fucking games. Like... We damn near had GTA 3, uh, the trilogy dropped more than GTA 5. I think we did have it more. Like, if we being honest, I guess this is the first time uh, GTA 3 and Vice City has been dropped on a, the, the, uh, a Xbox console or whatever. But, like, if we bar that, my nigga, like, we had them games, PS2, PS3, PS4, PS5. Like, bro, give us a, f like, come on, man. <laughs> like... Just give me something new, please. You know what I'm saying? The servers, like the servers, it's it it, it it was stupid to do first. Like like I'm just saying it. Like I, I can't even because I'm going off the top of my head. This shit ain't scripted. So before y'all get to man, you don't even know what you're talking about. You can't even formulate your thoughts. Yeah, I know how y'all niggas gonna go in the comments. I'm just trying to you know what I'm saying form like it's just ridiculous how. The little shit matters to Rockstar. Like, what what is y'all schedule? The the servers is the issue. The servers ain't on the PS3 ain't the issue. Matter of fact, people niggas was having fun on the PS3. You know what I'm saying? Because that's really the only console you can easily jailbreak. You know what I'm like. And with GTA 5, that's a game that, that needs to be jailbroken. You, honestly, I, that's probably the, one of the main reasons why these like you know what man. We hip to what y'all doing. Y'all niggas is mind your accounts and y'all and y'all gonna switch it over to uh the next gen and y'all use y'all social clubs. So what we gonna do is we just gonna wipe out the service for the old shit and the social club all together. Y'all niggas not having fun with this fucking game. We're gonna make y'all niggas sit and grind. That's what we gonna do. And uh and 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 we're gonna do it. And we're gonna cover it up with in, in, with bullshit and and to make it look like y'all are in the wrong and, and we 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 doing justice. Like, come on, my nigga. They're like, realistically, there was no reason for you to do it. Y'all niggas are sitting on loads of money. Like, they they like y'all. You can't explain this shit away. You honestly just don't want people to have fun with the fucking game that you keep putting out for the fucking sixteenth time in a row now. Like, like honestly, and that's why I refuse. To play the travesty. It's boring anyway. Los Santos is like this fucking big. And then it's just a, a desert on top of that. What type of fucking map is that? Like you can't have fun. You can't even escape the niggas that want to fucking grief you in this game. These niggas is chasing you all over this small ass map. Like cars driving into you and shit. Like idiots and shit. Like come on man. You know. Uh. The, the same, like, police cars is, they chasing me. They chasing you. We, we be in the, you know what's so funny, my nigga? I'll be I have a I'll have a three star one at level and then the niggas that's playing with me in the game or whatever have three star one levels or higher or whatever and or, or they have three star one at levels and there'd be so there'd be so many of us there the cops don't know who the fuck to chase so I'll have three star one at levels and there'll be nobody on me <laughs> whole time this nigga got all of the that's how that's how a fucking you know just out of order this game is. This shit needs to just be put out of order. Just slap the mother. Turn the sign on this motherfucker, man. It's over with. It's like it's real talk, man. Real fucking talk. There, there is nothing to be more. There's nothing to be did done with this fucking game, man. Stop adding this shit. Leave it alone. Stop, t stop teetering to to Ned Luke and 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 uh, the fucker that plays Franklin. You know what I'm saying? You you know this the, the Trevor actor. He got the fuck on. He's doing his own thing. These two niggas need this shit to survive. Like these, it's paying their bills and all types of shit. Ned Luke and I don't even remember the nigga who played Franklin, but these two niggas every time they. Every time we say a little something, they got to go on their little rants and shit on fucking Instagram live. Like, we care about what they say. We don't even give a fuck about your game, nigga. Fuck your job. We don't even give a fuck about your game. You know what I'm saying? Rockstar don't even give a fuck about your game. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see they they slowly, you know what I'm saying, canceling out uh the servers on last gens. And soon, that shit going to catch up to PS5. Now, if they, I'm for sure these niggas is not dumb enough, stupid enough to put this shit out on no PS6 and no shit like that. They ain't going to go to the next gen after this. They, they for sure not. Because if they, 
You see how much flack they got for the PS5. If if they if they continue to do this shit, we we gonna rise up. We gonna rise up and just bombard these niggas. They we rise into the bullshit already. So we gonna be like, nah, Rockstar. They already got memes on on YouTube and shit talking about man, Rockstar just don't care, man. Rockstar just don't care, man. Every time every time I, I move down my timeline, I see more and more glitches of GTA Online fucking up. So yeah, man, that's just that's just about, and and Lamar memes. That's all y'all niggas got for y'all game. You know what I'm saying? So, the, yeah, this is I'm not gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put a plus Rockstar rant at the end because this was really just about to, supposed to be about the the PS3 and the servers and shit shutting down. But I went on ahead and just ran on Rockstar just because it feels good. It feels good, yeah. It feels good to go on on these motherfuckers, man. But anyways. <laughs> Yeah, dog. That's Rockstar for it. That's that's man in a nutshell. Honestly, niggas have. Let's be honest, man. Unless we playing classics and enjoying classics, Rockstar has left a bad taste in our mouth. Honestly, they left a bad taste in our mouth, man. They ain't ain't no. And I love I love old Rockstar. You know, I love rock, old Rockstar. I you know, but I I can't accept the new shit that they do. And I refuse to play. That's just all that I'm not gonna talk about it. I I ended up I ended up talking about it because, you know, as I went on with the servers bullshit, it, it just caught up to me. I didn't really mean to. But I, I normally don't talk about it because it's all shit that's been said before. But honestly, man, I can't I couldn't give a fuck about what they got going on, man. What they got going on with GTA Online. I honestly I couldn't, bro. These niggas found a way to profit. And they milking the hell out of this shit. They gon' they gonna continue until the last penny drop. Like I I'm telling y'all niggas now, man. For all it's worth, they gonna really extend this shit. I can see it now. Cause that's how that's how business works, man. We go off of what's most profitable. You know what I'm saying? Back when games ain't used to be really profitable like that. So they didn't, you know, they didn't really sit here and you know, try to milk it as much as they could. They just sit over here, made the developed the game, and released the disc, and we just see if we like, enjoyed it or not. But now, man, niggas got to get that check, and it's part of, of it's really part of multiplayer. Multiplayer ain't used to be as popular as it is now. I talk about all this shit and why the gaming today sucks. So y'all could watch that video. I'm one that actually got the most views on my channel. So I'll go into more in uh, detail in that video. But, but anyways, man, yeah. uh... It's a shame that they shut down those servers, especially for all the time wasted, you know. Um, it's a shame for anybody who was still playing on PS3, getting their little money or whatever. Whoever still had a social club, whoever's still trying to get a modded account, it's a really a shame. That was really the only way to have fun on. If you was a console gamer and you was switching over, you know, that was really the only way to have fun and get money and, you know, and shit. Instead of having to fucking grind your life away or purchase or, or, or buy the win. But... It's all gone now. Ain't really more or nothing else to say. Just going to leave it at that. Uh, That's all good. I'll be playing my other games, though. You know what I'm saying? Nigga's still a gamer at heart. But anyways, that's all for the video, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. If I kind of if I kind of went too hard <laughs> or if I said some shit you don't really agree, agree with, let me hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Type y'all little essays or whatever. I wanna hear I wanna hear some somebody try to defend Rockstar. I want to. You know what I'm saying? Healthy debates. That's what we live for. But anyways, man, get back ride three times. Active game, blurry two kick gang, all that good shit. I'm gonna catch y'all niggas later on the next video. I'm out. Peace.